Welcome back to the Level 7 Podcast, <laughs> and I screwed it up. Our, welcome back to the Level 7 Games Podcast. Sorry. Level 7 Games Podcast. Podcast. Level 7 Games Podcast. Podcast. And we talk about video games. Music. Movies. Trading card games. Oh. Ding dongs. Do you not usually say music? No, I've never said music. Oh, man. I fucked this whole thing up. I Sorry. mean, it's fine. I'm cool with it. I feel like a ding. We're gonna talk about music. Yo, y'all better, y'all better buckle up, cause buckle. I don't know crap. He <laughs> well, knows a lot. <laughs> it's not about knowing. I mean, you. T- I mean, you, what you like. I have my opinions, but I also will admit that musically, I'm a pretty stupid person. It, it, and I don't even think that you should phrase it like that. Is maybe is just you haven't uh, you haven't listened to as much. You haven't had as much exposure. Right. Maybe. And the, to the some, really some other weird stuff. thing is that. I've noticed about myself in the past, like, two or three years, I just, I don't even listen to that much music anymore. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, like, if mm-hmm. I'm driving, I normally have, like, a book going or, like, a, a podcast or just something. With, a podcast. Like, with talking. You know, I, I have to, like, kind of go back and forth, but I think I prefer talking lately, which is weird. Right. Because there used to be a time in my life where it was about music, always. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. And I mean, like... I. Yeah, that's interesting that you say that because I do find that lately I've been listening to a lot more just like people just like, hey, let's uh, do let's listen to, to shit like us where it's like, hey, right. let's just talk about some random shit. It's like, I don't know why I would prefer that over like, a, here's a, a beautifully crafted song that can touch your soul. It's that like, no, I want to listen really to these two jagons fucking <laughs> yap about nonsense for an hour. Exactly. Speaking of, I got to set the, uh, the alarm. That throws us right into our question of the week. Who is your favorite band? Who? Which one person? <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a one person type deal. Share. Easy. Oh damn. That was my answer. <laughs> Do you believe in love? <laughs> in love? Me, 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 me. Okay, but yeah, go ahead, answer right now before we answer and you try to steal our answers. I'm just kidding. Ooh. Steal our answers if you want them, because if it's your favorite band, then I mean, it's, it's your favorite band. We can't I, stop you from that. Yeah, and I mean, like, honestly, this is a this is a difficult decision that I think that we we're gonna deliberate. Oh, man, out loud because it's like nope. I can't. I'm not. I don't just have an easy answer. I used to have an answer. Mm. I used to have like a top three even because oh. I couldn't pick one. Okay. Well, I mean, that's. Do you, do you want to do you want to we'll go, go do you yeah. want to go first? Do you have like a current favorite band? And it and it doesn't even have to be a band necessarily. It could be like who's your favorite musical artist? And I, and I guess like you don't have to say I, I don't know. Is that the of, same thing? Of well, no, <laughs> no, no. I think okay. it, I think it, I think that's different because if you say band, it's you're not going to be like most deaf. I, I just don't think that that like it could fit, be though. It, well, no, 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 and that's that's what I'm saying. Like, who, who's your favorite mu- musical group or uh, act? I guess. Right. I got you. Specifically. I got you. Look, it, 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 you splitting hairs here. I man. mean, yeah. <laughs> I, I I'll go first though, since you went first last week. Okay. Even though I don't really have an answer anymore, like mm. I said, I'm sorry. Uh, but my last favorite band was Disturbed. Okay. Because at that point, would they have like five or six albums out? And I loved all of them, like all of the songs, like even like the D songs that nobody ever fucking talks about. Those those songs were my jam, and I loved all of it. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I, and here's here's like, I guess I haven't listened to enough Disturbed. Like I've heard, obviously, I've heard a enough disturbed the, the for my <laughs> for, right stuff. right it's just um i guess like that genre of hard rock i just just never really like resonated with me that right. much where i'm like Meh. i mean and i mean that's the weird thing because i have not listened to disturb in years okay okay so what have you been listening to like if you listen to music recently what do you put on normally what i do listen to like right now, if I am listening to music, it's normally something like Hobson, Eminem, or the Echo the Dolphin soundtrack. I mean, those all perfectly genre aligned. Yeah, I know, <laughs> it's, right? It's, it's a good grouping. It's a good grouping. They make no sense. <laughs> no, I mean, but, yeah, I mean, I mean, either I'm listening to like 
that style of rap, like NF, Hobson, like I said, Tech Nine, Eminem, or I'm listening to the fucking Echo soundtrack because I'm just trying to chill and yeah, and the Echo soundtrack is just trippy's. And it's, it is chill. It's like, just like, yeah, oh man! The original Echo of the Sound or Echo of the Dolphin soundtrack for the Sega CD is Amaze Balls. Uh, Tides of Time is awesome, and um, the Defender of the Future on the Dreamcast was just. It just I don't know. Like it's really so funny. all of the soundtracks then. Just yeah. any of the Echo soundtracks. Any of the Echo, go- yeah, soundtracks. Are they all from the same uh, composer? composer? Yeah. Have you like listened to his uh, or her other stuff? Uh, no, I haven't listened to his other stuff. It's mm. just because. What if it's even really, like more, some shit that you're like, oh. I damn, mean, it like, could be. What if it gets like more trippy, where it's like you're like, oh damn, he like, right. his his own stuff is like a lot different in better ways. It could be. I, I should out. probably check it out, but uh, yeah, it's just it's funny because normally if I'm listening to music, it's just in the background, or I need it to help, like help me chill. Because mm-hmm. that's kind of where I am in life. If I yes. if I'm listening to music, it's just got to help me chill. Yeah, music is definitely like a lot of times just like a distraction. Like it, it almost helps me focus just having noise mm. in the background. But yes, yes, yeah. I agree. So yeah, okay, I dig it. There you I go. I like it. My last. Dude, what's what's your favorite disturbed song? Ooh, that's a good question. Cause I mean, like, it, it, is it the Wo-O-Bo-O song? Oh, 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 No, but it is from that like genre of them. I'm trying to remember, what it's from the or wow, genre. Wow, wow, my bad. Wow, 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 wow. When Era he was doing a lot of like g- Tom Morello guitar riffs on his mouth, he's just like, oh wow, 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 wow. Yeah, yeah. It was definitely uh, more of their like heavier screaming phase mm. they were very angry now they're now they're just sad now they're very sad ever since sound <laughs> of silence killed it for him because it was just impressive to hear that kind of range from him when you're like oh i thought this dude could only yell a lot i did not like that cover at all it upset me i'm sorry well that that's okay. look we've talked about this before and maybe even on yeah. this podcast I, maybe mm, not i don't think on the podcast but we've definitely we've talked definitely about talked it. about it but yeah i mean uh, i don't know that Whatever. No. No more. Now you got I nothing. Mean, ni- I got nothing nice to say. I was gonna say, it, it's, it's all preference. Fine. I just I'm, don't you're... like. I just don't like his voice personally. Right. I just. I just have never really been like. This dude's got it. <laughs> I think he's right. probably like a good lyricist and stuff, and like I don't know. It fits the music really well. And I. I've, um, I've never thought of him that way either until I heard uh, "Sound of Silence," and that's why I thought it was cool at the time because it's like, oh, it's cool to hear that he can sing sure like compared to what they normally did which is singing but like it's like the anthony kiedis uh under the bridge or the uh james hetfield nothing else matters when they did that and everybody's like holy shit they can do slow songs what the fuck is going on right like that it just blew my mind yeah 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 uh (laughs) <laughs> I feel like it might have been Stupefy was probably my favorite for a long time. Okay. All right. So, like, it was one of their more popular ones, but not, like, their most popular one. Sure, sure. But, I mean, it's hard. Like, when when a song's a hit, it's a hit. You yeah, know what I mean? I mean it's, it's like... good. You know... It's uh, just good. Yeah. Totally. I feel you. So, yeah. Uh, yep. There it is. There you go. Okay. That's the that's the peak into my, my musical repertoire right now yeah i mean hey man you got to be searching that's that's what i figured out recently is like you got to always be searching for something new right because shit it's just it's crazy it's like you listen to a song enough times and you memorize it back and forth and then all of a sudden you're like oh it's like reading the same book over and over yeah like at some point it just has no meaning because right you've kind of out used it right exactly you've if that's what i'm trying to say. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm trying I, to say. I know what you mean. Yeah, 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 you've just listened to it enough where it's like the meaning is stripped away. It's it's not as impactful as it once was where you're like, okay. Yeah. Yes, this is a good song. I recognize I like it for XYZ, but nah, it's just not catchy anymore. It's not enjoyable. It doesn't right. give me little goose pimples or whatever. And a, a lot of songs that I listened to in high school are that for me now. 
Mm. Like a lot of ACDC. Not saying that they're bad songs. I mean, now ACDC it's just like, is ah, classic. I've heard this so many times fucking, now. yeah, they're just like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Put the in here. No, you know how it goes. Oh, well, that's that's Ozzy. I know, but that's just another one. That, it's just like one of those songs that like I listened to a ton back in the day, but now I hear it and I'm like, ah, this fucking song, man. Din din at every fucking yeah like sporting event. Din din, yep. din din, din din. I, I, <laughs> yeah. It's like fuck, stop. <laughs> yeah, there's so, definitely like those songs where it's they're just dead. They're just right. dead to the world. But it's like yet they live on. They have no soul. Yeah, but they're just but Frankenstein into society in the fucked up ways where you're like, "Fuck this song," right? God, <laughs> I love it. Like, yeah. anyhow. So, that, yep, that's definitely where Hobson and NF have come in for me because I had never heard them before until like two months ago or something. Yeah. So I think that's why I'm, I'm burning through their their backlog quite a bit right now. Yeah, they and I mean Hobson's got a lot of shit, dude. I I so haven't listened to a lot of NF. I've definitely listened to the last two albums and then he had that one bigger hit that's occasionally played is it lost that's that's one of the newer songs that's the one he did with hobson i think yeah um that's how i found but the like the big hit that he had was the the fuck was it i can't remember i don't know it's some sad song it was like one of his like love songs oh i don't know you know how it is those are the yeah 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 Yeah. but uh yeah i mean i guess um i dig so my turn yeah okay um, I don't have an answer at all. Oh, okay. <laughs> Even remotely close. Um, <laughs> I, f- I felt like a dingus when you're like, oh, fa- favorite uh, band is like, oh, cool. I don't have one. <laughs> I, I, and that's kind of what I figured this would be is like more of a discussion is cause it's like, how do you fucking do that? Like right now? Sure. I can, I can't even pick a band right now that, you know, I would say for me personally, it, it's it's got to be between, like, and I mean, like, not right now. Like, I think of all time in my life for me, I'm not saying they're the greatest musicians of all time. I'm not saying anything like that. But I think for my life, I think my favorite band is probably Incubus. Mm. Um, hence hence po- the Incubus poster stuff. Yeah. But um, I, I don't know. It's not recently because most of their shit, in the last couple of years has not been like uh on point with with I guess my expectations of their of what I think they could do. Um so it's like it's weird cuz it's like I listen to their old stuff and I could still enjoy it, but I've played like you said I played those songs out mm. where it's like I can listen to the album and I'll just play through, I'll just pick an album, I'll pick Science or oh. something and, and and just play through it, but it's like once yeah. Where in the past, it's going to be like, just fucking smash on that album over and over and over. Right. Um, and it's like, I haven't been able to listen to one of their albums like that since, like, Light Grenades, which was four or five albums ago or some shit. Um, wow. And not to say that the new stuff is bad, it's just not my... It's not, it, It's like the music has changed to the point where it's not the same band, almost. Right. Which is strange. Um, but Led Zeppelin is definitely gotta be pretty dang close to the top it's that's good stuff yeah that's a hard one to that's a hard uh act to follow you know what i mean like as far as influence range of sound just all the production work that they did like yeah. like zep is just the shit that's true i could agree with that i definitely went through a, a zeppelin phase as well where i pretty sure i bought like eight freaking albums I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> You're like, this is fucking great. Because every album is just completely different. And it's just always Robert Plant going, baby, 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 baby. You know, just over and over and over. And you're like, fuck, Robert Plant, chill the fuck out. You, you know, you would think when they're in the studio and they're like, I might, Robert, what are you going to sing over this part? He's just going to be like, oh, you know, my, I was just thinking about going, <laughs> for like 30 or 40 measures mate how's that sound oh it's bloody brilliant <laughs> yeah it's like <laughs> and it was so weird too because one of the first ones that i did here was 1984 
So I was expecting more of like that 80s sound. And then I went back to like the first one. It's like, oh, this is totally different. 1984 what? Led Zeppelin. Or sorry, Van Halen. My bad. Yeah. I was thinking Van Halen. Well, Van Halen's dope but too. Van Halen, I did that with where they they also have like a crazy range of sound. Yes. Well, and I mean, especially when you go from when you go from David Lee Roth to fucking Van Hagar. Yeah. Where you get like that's what dreams are made of. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm definitely I'm definitely a David Lee Roth Van Halen guy. Yeah. Like if I had to pick between the two, Van Hagar is like Hagar is he's good. He's a talented young lad. But <laughs> he's so <laughs> fucking corny. Yeah. <laughs> he's like just a lot of it. It's like Carrot Top and fucking Brett Michaels had a <laughs> anal baby or something. Oh, no. <laughs> and put Oof. and put some fucking pit vipers on that bitch and <laughs> gave it a gave it a suntan and a acoustic guitar and he's oh. like <laughs> Good lord, here we go. <laughs> here it goes, motherfucker. Time to party. Wakabo wabo, baby. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Van Halen, man. Re- rest in peace, Eddie Van Halen. Too bad. He died last year. Oh, he did? Yeah. I did not yeah. know. Yeah. There was like a whole thing with the Grammys, and they didn't do like some shout out to him. Like they did the in memoriam deal and like he wasn't even in there and it's like oh, how the fuck how do you not put eddie van halen like he's like one of one of the top yeah like rock gods. rock gods yeah but whatever okay i mean that's weird shit happens there's weird politics and music that's why that's why my career never quite hit it off it's just i wasn't into the politics dude i was just doing it for the music i could see that i could see that um yes uh do you remember your very first favorite band? Green Day, Dookie, was okay. my very first tape I ever owned. I remember this, because we talked about our first CDs. We yeah. talked about that one being your first tape. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I would say, uh, yeah, yeah, that was that was my first tape, was was Green Day, Dookie. That, that makes my pick so much sadder. Yours is a good pick. Mm. My first favorite band was Smash Mouth. Not gonna lie, I mean, those first two albums uh, uh, just blew my damn dude, mind. Dude, Smash Mouth had some hits, right, bro? I mean, they got they got a little they got less wacky. good. <laughs> they got, they got le- fucking weird. They got less good, but it's okay. Yeah. Somebody, you Don't know what I mean? Like, tell me the word. <laughs> yeah, I could do that whole fucking song. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, no, nah, absolutely. And then it had the whole like Mystery Men, oh, fucking yeah. video and shit with Ben Stiller and Janine Garofalo and and. Dane Cook burns his face with a waffler. Mm. Dane. I am the waffle man. Dane <laughs> Cook. Yep. I'm happy he's making a comeback. I said it. Yeah, I don't know. He's, yeah, Dane <laughs> Cook. I, you know, I thought Dane Cook was funny. Right. I, I, I did. I just didn't, I, I could never quite place why. Because he was a silly bitch? Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> sure that's one of his quotes in case you don't know what the fuck i'm talking about i do not okay okay, that's okay. Fine. there it is that's fine. That's fine. there it is uh, um yeah yeah so the, that the, that's got to be incubus has got to be the band that i've listened to the most in my life so i have to kind of like place it as my favorite band right where it's like i'm not always listening to incubus but at any point if i'm like Ah, fuck it. I can just pick one of their albums and be cool with that and right. just just kind of roll with it. There's a lot of bands that I like and listen to a lot. Um, there's a band called Enemies that was out of Ireland that had like a just instrumental. It was like a four piece band, oh. just instrumental. But they were they were kind of like math rock. Um, where it's like cool time signatures that change and oh, I got really you. good drummer and shit. So like you kind of need to know music to get it a little bit. I mean, I don't think so. I just think that it's like it's like a barrier of entry type thing where it's like if you're playing a difficult video game that requires you to like press more buttons at once. You know what I mean? Where you're like, yeah. ah, this isn't just a platformer. Uh, the first time they introduced an analog stick or a second one. You know, you, you just you hear more. There's more going on. But at the same time, if it doesn't sound good, it doesn't sound good. Yep. And so it's like sometimes there's just a pretentious level of some of it where you're just like okay they did not need the fucking trumpet <laughs> and the fucking uh tuba or jazz 
I mean, or, most <laughs> most jazz <laughs> most jazz is unnecessary. You're right. Most jazz is pretty unnecessary. I mean, it's it's cool that it exists. Thanks or whatever, but just keep it to yourself. I definitely like the atomic fireballs when it comes to jazz. Mm. Yep, never heard that. Okay, never heard them. Well, we should move on to the uh, next topic. I think. Mm. Switch Semi Pro. Oh, also yeah. Also known on the street as the Switch Chub. The Switch Chub, the half, the half-hearted yeah. attempt. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> it's like, do a redesign, make your money. Like, how long has the Switch been out for? Five years. Five years. And they're doing a redesign. That's some bullshit. Like, barely. That's. I think that's just. It's whatever. Uh, I mean, they're, they're, it, there's no reason for them to introduce all new hardware. I mean, they can put this yeah. out at $50 more. They're making more. They're probably paying less to create it because now the technology is way... It's got to be cheaper than five Old years ago. Hell, yeah. yeah. Five years ago? Pfft, that's fucking... That's ancient. Right? And o- OLED screens that size were already in production in like 2012. Yeah, dude. I make those so. in my basement illegally. I'm right? Fucking... It's not yeah. hard. <laughs> yeah, it's not even hard, dude. I got a press. <laughs> I got a fucking OLEDer. <laughs> oh letter <laughs> yeah you gotta let up your oh let that, that's your, right you gotta get your leads your o's all let it up the, oh oh oh, oh. oh. Uh, <laughs> i don't know i don't know what else to really talk about it it's just not what i was hoping for i mean obviously I, i'm happy personally i'm happy and here's why it's hard enough to get any other fucking console right now and it's like, at least this isn't going to be another one of those, like, everybody losing their fucking minds type of situations. The people are going to want it. They're going to sell out. But it's not going to be like a PS5 where it's like new console, new games, new fucking. You got to like, this works halfway on this or 30 frames less on this one and 60 on this one. It's like, as a, as a dude who has to sell video games, this is actually way easier because Nintendo shit sells regardless. Right. So it's like, fuck it. I mean, I'm sure that was Nintendo's perspective. They're like, fuck it. Why? It's all selling anyhow. Like, right. why do why do we improve the the technology if, if we'll wait care. for sales to slow down? Yeah. Like after COVID, they have more systems out into the world. I mean, obviously year over year they're gonna have more systems out, but I mean, I think it's a lot more than they expected. Substantially where like, so. Yeah, where they would be like kind of alienating an entire new customer base mm. by releasing a new hardware after such a big year. That's a good way to put it. Well, there you go. If you're disappointed about the Switch not being in a, a good Switch, <laughs> uh, you know, just go buy a PS5. Just don't, just don't shut up. about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just fucking deal with it. Yeah, just go fucking, I don't know, jump off a cliff. Seriously, though. I just, I just... I love the Switch. I just need it to be better. I was playing Mega Man X7 earlier today because that's what I mean, Raph wanted to play. That game is just not very good, though. Yeah, but still, the frame like the frame rate on there is embarrassing. See, but that's got to be Capcom. There's no way. It there... definitely runs better on the PlayStation. But we were playing it on uh, the Switch because that's what my son likes playing it on. I'm just saying there's there's just no there's no way that the the system isn't more powerful than a, a PlayStation. So it's gotta be how it was emulated, I think. I mean it could be. Who knows? I'm I, th- just... I I think. I just I think it's more likely because I mean it's just like when the uh the Retron Q came out or Cube or whatever the fuck it was called. The S- square. The square. S-Q. Jesus. Yeah. You know. Uh where Everything ran like shit, and then yeah. they they did an update, and now it runs fine. Yeah, so it's true. So I I, I don't know. Maybe it's a bad. They just port. never have the update on the Switch is the problem. Yeah, they. It's I mean, Capcom not. Capcom doesn't give a shit. Capcom well, like Nintendo doesn't give a shit either. I mean, I don't I don't think it's Nintendo's prerogative. I mean, it kind I mean, of is. Even uh, Breath of the Wild still has those slowdown moments. Where oh you're like yeah, doing nothing, and you're like, the fuck is happening to my game right now? Yeah, I mean, Breath of the Wild. I mean, was yes. Whatever. It's impressive. It's big. It's not that impressive or that big. It should not chug that hard. But you can time. climb the side of a mountain. Yeah. And you can slip it down when it starts raining when you least expect it. Yeah. 
It's it's just one of those things where I, I love everything on it. I just want it to be a better version of it. Just Are you talking about Zelda? No, the Switch. Oh. It just drives me crazy. I mean... Because even like... And I know I've talked about this, but even the Shantae games, those have a hard time from time to time. And it's just like, why the fuck is this 2D side-scrolling game struggling right now on a fucking console in 2021? Because you bought it. Yeah, it is. And because, I mean, there's no... I don't know. It's It's very hard to... Like, look at Cyberpunk, for example. They made money on that. It's, yeah. It sold fucking... They still sold a bajillion of them. They made their money. Like, it's it's whatever. They're like, oh, bad press. Mm. They'll get over it. People are still going to buy Witcher 6 or whatever the fuck. CD Projekt Red is still going to do whatever they want, and it's 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 fine. Right. But uh, the point of what I am saying is that uh, stuff that... Mega Man sucks. What the fuck were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about the Switch. We're Why talking about the so Switch. That even its own homemade stuff is just like, eh. Like, we, we... We gave you Mario. Don't don't complain when it doesn't work oh. as well as it should. Well, that's why. Because consumers have low expectations, and they accept that shit. And we will never not buy the new whatever XYZ game from the biggest publisher. Like, even if we don't buy as many of them, like, it still fucking sells. Like, Ubisoft right. still makes money on fucking Assassin's Creed. Nobody gives a fucking shit... <laughs> <laughs> perfectly put no i, I mean I, it sells but I, in a weird way where people are like ah fucking assassin's creed it's like that's that's like video game selection lottery where they're like it's the first one i saw it's like like i got 60 bucks let's just buy that one somebody needs to make like aardvark's adventure just so it's the first game on every rack and yeah. they're like there it is that's the one Aard, Aard, aardvark's Aardvark. adventure Aardvark's AAA adventure. Gotta love that Aardvark. Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I I think that's something we've grown accustomed to is, one, we're like, okay, we accept a, a shitty product up front because now, now we updates. expect you to update it. Mm. But if you don't update it, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Dang it. Like, ah you got me like and see that's what sucks capcom's weird about that too like i don't know they just that's a weird company like the the way they do their games sometimes their game releases like they always like really like hang late before they'll ship stuff out um i don't know Mm. 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 they got good properties but i just want a new dragon's dogma just give me like a fucking a real (laughs) dragon's dogma i just want a resident evil collection it's not it's, it's never going to happen. I know, but I'm going to keep bringing it up. That's never going to happen. Mother. Gah. Okay. Because if, I mean, if I, they did that, then they would be shooting themselves in the foot. And here's why. If it's like a like a legacy collection type deal. Because if you can get them all at once, then when the next console comes out and they re-release them all again separately, you've already got them all in one place. But if you only have, like, three of the 4,000 of them, you might rebuy the same ones again on the next platform. That's true. And so they just keep Disney, Disney-ing. They keep Disney-vaulting it. Yeah, but, well, yeah. And, I mean, like, there's no Disney collection. You can't buy a Disney collection of movies. You have to buy each fucking individual movie. That's true. And That's so true. it's like... And they do keep, like, upping the ante. They're like, oh, the gold edition. Oh, the diamond edition. Oh, we realigned it with fucking uranium pins this what? time. And we, 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 we dug up Walt Disney's corpse and fucking put his, his body into the carbon, into the lead pencils. And we drew it with his, his <laughs> life force. <laughs> and Aladdin is just so much better looking now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like... It's like, you can see his pores. <laughs> it's like I didn't want to see that. It's like, I just want a whole new <laughs> world, but not this world. Now you get to see the tiger actually take off his clothes. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> I know we've talked about it's that, like, but when he tells the tiger to take off his clothes. Yeah. yeah that shit. <sighs> yep. The Disney model. 100% easily the fastest way to just make me angry at everything. 
Yeah, I mean, but they're geniuses or whatever. Fucking rich there. motherfucking genius. <laughs> um, yeah, just keep re-release re- re- release things separately forever. They've been they've been the video game industry for the last fucking like forty years. Forty years. They just keep re-releasing the same shit, and being like, "Here's a new feature. This is fucking uh, Norm Macdonald talking about Fantasia for fifteen minutes." And he's like, I would buy that. <laughs> and he's just like, "Hey, uh, Fantasia's pretty cool, or whatever." It's yeah. like. The fuck is this? Like, why I paid extra for this? It's just like, yeah, but look, it's an 8K. Norm, you can see Norm McDonald's pores. You can see Norm McDonald. <laughs> just always about his. <laughs> just always about the pores. Look at the hair effects. Oh, like, he's so real. It's like he's. It's like, like he's Norm like, McDonald is here, being awkward. The hell am I talking about? <laughs> just yeah. like Norm Mc. I oh shit! Now I want that. I just no. want Norm Macdonald to talk about every movie I own. Just, yeah, like, that would be great. Like a riff track. Oh, man. I'm sure that would... He'd be like, yeah, this is a pretty good movie. <laughs> I'm not in this one. <laughs> uh, speaking of movies, see what you got yep. pulled up there. So, uh, I was just informed a couple minutes ago... By who? By you. Oh, excuse good me. Good job. Uh, that Beetlejuice 2 now has a teaser poster. So it is official. This is the first official piece of art slash announcement slash ding dong. Who's it? What's it? Promotional material, whatever the fuck, for Beetlejuice two. Yep, a and Tim Burton film, starring Batman. Michael Keaton. So that's what I said. Keaton's back, <laughs> dude. As Birdman. <laughs> do you think? That, do you think they could do it Ow, again? Sorry. Have Just you seen Birdman? Table. Yeah, I like Birdman. Dude, people, I, I asked some of the dudes at the store today that they asked if they saw Birdman. They're like, no, I didn't see Birdman. I was like, how the fuck? What? Birdman's so good. It's so good. I, yeah, the ending was great, too. Definitely yeah. definitely a movie worth checking out. Check that shit out. It was weird as fuck. I like oh, that. You, well, you know what's cool about the soundtrack is like the fact that it's just the dude playing the drums the whole time. I did not know that. Like, you, well, I mean, you do, you totally know that because. They show the guy. He's just randomly in hallways, just playing the drums throughout every, like random shots. He's just. I'm gonna have to watch it again. And look for that. I didn't look for a man playing drums. <laughs> yeah, he's just they'll just pan past him, and he's just like, <laughs> and then it just nice. like because that's all that like one shot style. Oh yeah. Where it like follows and it does the whole like single shot like and then it'll run pan into through the back of a person. And yeah, then and then it'll cut to yeah. the yeah. But it doesn't ever move like. From, away from, away from like yeah the the scene is one continuous shot. I actually, I actually just got a Bruce Campbell movie that they shot like that. That is actually really good. Fucking Bruce Campbell, man. Dude, I can't help myself. But it's called Running Time. Mm. It is, it is a fantastic movie. Seriously, if you want to watch a really like cool one shot movie, mm. because like we were just saying, they definitely do that trick where they run into the back of somebody and it's or like, cross a. Cross a threshold. Right, and you're like, oh, well, there was a or cut. A tree but, I mean, or some shit. It's done well enough that Krista was like, there were cuts? I was like, no. Because <laughs> no. I, like, randomly <laughs> said it at one point. She's like, shit, I thought it was all done in one shot. You're like, it's like, sorry, oh, I didn't mean to ruin dang. the magic for you. But, uh, yeah, I like those kind of movies when they actually try to make it all, like, in one sequence. Did you ever see the uh, the first? I don't know if it was the first. Maybe, maybe okay. Definitely wasn't the first. Did you ever see the Quentin Tarantino like one shot thing? Um, it's like it takes place in a hotel room and it's part of like a series. It's um, what the fuck is it called? It's um, I do not know. Quick. Yeah, he did. It, it, it was like there was like three different directors that did this thing. Uh, it was like a project. And Tarantino did a uh, a one shot like, um, Tarantino one shot one shot shot. That's what I typed. Yeah, one shot 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 one shot shot show. Google does not like my enter button on any of my computers anymore. It's just like no fuck you. I'm not gonna search that. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Uh, Either way, whatever. I'll find this in a second. We'll talk about something else. Uh, but yeah, I mean, back to Beetlejuice too. Are you excited, or do you feel like that's just going to be another one of those weird... I do not want to see that lady in it. Who? The lady that's in every single fucking Tim Burton movie ever. 
The hell is her Helena name? Helena bon- Bonham Carter? I guess. It's I his know. wife. I know. I, uh, I don't like her. You she do- she's definitely got parts in certain movies. Yeah, like, like oh yeah, she was perfect for that. Like Harry Potter. Yeah, like you were. She does not need to be in every fucking movie. I agree. I mean, I agree that she's good, but also I agree that right. Like, she is she- definitely a character actor. If she is not right for the character, it is wrong, and it just feels weird for the whole fucking movie. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I also don't really like. A lot of Tim Burton movies the last couple of years. I'm not like right. Oh man, it's about Sweeney Todd. Right. Like I was gonna say, ah. we, we kind of talked about that last week, but oh, did we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I could talk about how much okay. I don't like Tim Burton. Yeah, as much as because yeah, yeah, Sweeney Todd. That that's a perfect example of when she was not the right person for that role. Like there were moments where it's like, oh yeah, I guess she did good on that part, but like the rest of it, it's like you should have picked somebody different. Somebody else could have done this, and they would have done it better. Hmm. Well, but you know. That's just my opinion on that. Yeah, Tim Burton. I know a lot of fuck, people dude? are always like, oh, she's the best. She deserves me to everything. It's like, Ugh. Who are these people? I don't. I mean, if you've ever, ever gone to art school, they're around 80% of the people there. Hmm. So. I have yeah. not. I have, <laughs> I have not gone to art. Actually, no, I have not gone to art school. Thank God. I was going to say, that's good. Then you haven't wasted your money like I did. <laughs> Maybe he didn't. <laughs> Maybe uh, it wasn't a movie. Maybe it was like a, considered a short film or some shit. I don't know, dude. There was some. It's got uh, it's got the dude from Reservoir Dogs, Mister Mister Orange and shit. I don't know. He's like the waiter. Oh, that'll that'll help me find it. Sorry, I hate to do this here, but there, there's no, there's nothing I can do now. Like now, I I, 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 I have to know. You you've started this. You've done this to me I, before. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that's what we're here for. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying uh, to well, get... while you're trying to find that, I'm going to talk about the fact that Atari is going to switch to just producing games now. Yeah, that's going to be really cool, I bet. Yeah, right after they just put out a console of their own. Mm-hmm. But I guess that would make sense. Why wouldn't you start making games after you made a console? I mean, I would have assumed that they were going to make it before a console came out, but fuck me, right? It's Atari. They don't do anything right. <laughs> that's true that's true i know there's that one guy that commented a couple of times that's gonna be like what because you love atari and i'm just kidding i don't actually think they do everything wrong but look uh, atari's got a bad track record let's really let's be do. honest like they're a cool company they got a great logo <laughs> i, I they just started video games at your or in your house i just i feel like atari is like your dad where they expect more respect than they deserve. Because of something they did 40 years ago, 50 yeah. years ago. Yeah, and even then you're like, well, you kind of also fucked it up. It's well, like they crashed the market by overprinting fucking everything. Yeah, exactly. And then, well, I mean, I mean you, you did not. You weren't there. And I mean, I was doing my best. I was like, fuck, fuck you, Atari. All right. You fucked everything up. Nintendo came to the rescue. So Ichi's not really that bad. Exactly. Exactly. Get out of here. Uh, it's four rooms was what I was thinking of. That's the uh, that's the anthology. So there was each one. There that was... actually looks really familiar. Yeah, it's got so there was four scenes directed by four different directors. Quentin Tarantino did one, Robert Rodriguez did one. But uh there's a really good like one shot scene that Quentin Tarantino did. Mm. Um so that's I feel that's like that one shot thing. thing is definitely part of the uh like what we were talking about with music earlier, where if you get the music a little bit, you appreciate it more. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. Or like if you've edited videos or ever tried to put together your own movie, you appreciate the one shot more. Yeah. You can just, you, you can see things that you, I don't know if, if you're not involved in something, it's hard to appreciate the craft, right? It's like, right. It, like I know that welding is probably really fucking hard, but it's hard the, to do it right. That's for sure. <laughs> right. And I'm sure there's a bunch of different types of welders. There's a bunch of different types of materials. There's a bunch of different, like, uh, tons of different equipments and stuff. Oh, yeah. But on the outside looking in, it's just like you're going <laughs> melting metal to metal. It seems very simple. But it's like. Until you get those underwater welders. Yeah, dude. Those, those dudes. Are yeah, I hear that fight dolphins off. Oh, constantly. yeah. <laughs> yeah, because that one bitch tried to have sex with the dolphins, and now the dolphins want to have sex with everybody is what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> that's true 
uh, you should go back to our uh, last news episode if you don't know what the hell we're talking about. Yeah. John told a story about Echo the Dolphin that was disturbing. Yeah, it did. It gave me nightmares. Yeah, it did. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> I've done a l- Oh, I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't tell you. I, had I haven't nightmares. been watching you sleep at all. <laughs> yeah. I, I told you to quit doing that. I know. I can't Just stop. climb in. Go to bed. Um, <laughs> snuggle up. Uh, yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't know. What else did we talk about this week? Let's see. What else did we talk this about wasn't... this week? We talked about the Zelda Master Sword hack. Well, that's cool. I mean, it, on this podcast, I know we've talked about the fact that we did not like Breath of the Wild that much. Right. Like, no, we're not saying it's a bad game. It's, it's not a bad just... game. It's just not the... Hey. We're old. Again, fuck you. I like Zelda a certain way. I like my Zelda a certain flavor. <laughs> like it to have a <laughs> certain amount of sugar in it. I mean, really, and the problem... I mean... To rehash this just really quick so you guys know what we're talking about if you haven't heard us talk about this before. Uh, But the reason I had a big problem with it was the fucking ending of it. Everything up till the ending, I dug. I enjoyed the gameplay. I liked the progression. I thought it was great. And then I spent all this fucking time to accidentally defeat the end boss. Yeah, see, I didn't make, I didn't even fucking beat the game. I was like, I I didn't like the cooking. I don't, I just, I don't, I, I. I don't know. I don't want to do that. It just feels like work to me. Like, yeah, there's no like, fucking point. To if it's like it. a, if it's like a component thing where it's like I have to collect these things to like upgrade a a, a weapon to then like do something cool with it, transform it into some. It's like if there's no purpose other than just to be like oh, I'm gonna make sixteen in these cakes so I can never die. Da. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, there was a lot of stuff in that game that I was like, okay, well, cool. Right. But why? It just feels like you just put shit in here, just like fucking throw, throw shines in there. Yeah. Somewhere. Just all over the place. Well, what is a shrine? I don't know. It's like a puzzle. Just come up with a puzzle. Yep. Da. <laughs> but yeah, it's, oh, that ending fucking pisses me off still to this What's day. What's the ending? I mean, spoiler alert. Um, You beat up Ganon, and then Zelda's like, that was hard. And you're like, cool, okay. Tell you, and, and then, then you're like, that wasn't fucking hard though. Like I literally walked in on the last boss on accident because I was searching for a certain material or a sword or something. Just shit. walked in on I him. He's just like, and he's like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wasn't doing that. And you're like, dude, <laughs> gross. Lock the door. Then he attacks you, and I beat him like without any problem whatsoever because I had done most of the things. Well, I mean, you that, don't even have to do eighty percent of that fucking game to beat it. Well, I mean, no, that's uh, the, the, that was their whole thing. You can go right to the last boss and find him if you're good enough. It's I mean, like, fuck. great, I don't want to fucking do that, right. and I don't want to use a stick that's gonna break, and I don't want to use. I don't want to have a sick ass. Don't give me a dope fucking lightning sword and then take it away. Yeah, in from me. Hits. That's what I'm saying. Like, uh, don't don't do that to me. Okay, you're going to break my fucking heart, make me do this complicated-ass puzzle, be like, give me a sick motherfucking lightning sword, and then it breaks? You hurt me. (laughs) You fucking hurt me, Nintendo. (laughs) And then the thing, this pissed me off a lot, too, but even after you defeat Ganon, you can go right back into the game, and I was expecting it to be different. Like, as if you've actually defeated Ganon in the game, and then, you know, I thought I could just kind of roam around, explore some shit. Nope. Like, the moment you beat Ganon, you res- you respawn into the-, the world, and they're just like, oh, yeah, it's as if you didn't do that. It's like, then why the fuck did I do that? Well, because there's new New Game Plus. I think they added a New Game Plus now. I think so, but it just, like, made it more difficult. But barely. I think they added, like, a DLC that was like, I don't know. I don't know. That's the thing. I just, I, I, I wanted to care so much. And it's like, I played that game on the Wii U. Oh, shit. As much as I played it. I think I got through three of the dungeons, and I was just like, bah, it's all the same shit. And then the dungeons were so disappointing. Yeah. So small. You're like, got two puzzles, and you're like, oh, and then I got to fight a fucking same boss over and over. Like, eh. Yep. Whatever. Anyhow. Okay. So Zelda, what are, master what are they doing? Master Sword hack. Somebody made it so you could get the master, master Sword, like, almost right in the beginning. Okay. Great. Thank you. That's that solves what sucked about that game. There you go. <laughs> I might actually play it now. 
and have fun. Be like, oh, cool. I can just fight enemies and then defeat them and then... And then use a cool sword for a little bit, but you still have a decent sword afterwards. That's what I'm saying. That's, what, yeah. that's all I wanted. That's I all I you. wanted. I got you. Na, 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 na. Well, apparently, we didn't really want to talk about that. <laughs> what? The Zelda thing? This is Zelda. I mean, what is there to talk about? Like, that somebody, they, they, they made it, they figured out the thing that you're supposed, okay, so you got, you're supposed to get, what, 30 hearts or some shit? I think you're supposed to get 30 hearts to be able to get the Master Sword. Oh, I thought you had to do like 13 or some shit. Trials. No. Inside the the tree. No, because it's like when you go to pull it out, it drains your health. And so you have to have a certain amount of the hearts. Yeah, I know. Okay. And so. It's been so long since I've played it. So this is kind of the workaround because you can. You you set a a campfire and then you go to like. And you just like spam the action button or whatever and like. When it goes like you're resting at the campfire, it also picks it up as you're picking up the, the Master Sword or attempting to, and so it kind of fucks with it, and then you just have it in your inventory. Oh, cool beans. So there you go. There you go. I might try it again. I mean, whatever. I wonder if the glitch works on the... I I just want to know, who... Figured that shit out? Why? <laughs> they probably I don't, did it on accident. Like, I mean, again, why? Who... Who are you people? Why are you doing this? Go fucking cure cancer. <laughs> Get rid of that shit. Like, clearly you are capable of some like crazy shit. You figured that out. You just sitting around like, wonder if I should fucking four years later. How long has this game been? <laughs> like, what is happening? <laughs> no, five years because it came out with I mean, the like, Switch. Yeah, people are like, oh, I finally got the hardest chest to get in the fucking Zelda 1. It's a, it's like, Jesus. No, I, I don't know. There's <laughs> people still like glitching out old games and I'm just like, maybe they just started playing them. I mean, maybe so. I, listen, what the fuck do I know? Nothing. I'm just saying there's some things I don't understand. <laughs> That's one no. of them. Like, I'm going to... I'm going to get this game, and I'm just going to run into the walls and see if I clip through. And then if I do, I'm going to see what happens. And then if I can clip through and reset, maybe it'll do a different thing. And it's like, damn. Like the uh, the damn. Mario super jump to, like, on Mario 64 when you, like, back jump through the wall. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, Mario's going to die. And then he just, like, shoots through the wall, and you're like, ah! Yep. Yep. Good stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, next up. Sorry, you mean. <laughs> I just I just fucking flashed back. <laughs> just, <laughs> uh, Assassin's Creed Infinite. Mm, that's a cool original name. Yeah. Um, it's like the name what? of your game plus the word infinite. That's a new thing, I guess. So, Halo Infinite. <laughs> Assassin's oh Creed Infinite. <laughs> you have fucking Borderlands Infinite. No, I don't know if that one's real, but I mean, definitely could be. It'll happen at some point. Uh, so what the hell is it? I haven't even looked at this. It's a it's a Assassin's Creed game that is a game as a service. So it's like a fucking Fortnite ever changing. Like they add more stuff to the world. The world changes. There's God, like and they called it Infinite. You didn't a, think like Assassin's Creed World? I mean, that's just as bad, but. I mean, it's it's better than the word infinite because, like, infinite, it's taken. Like, it's just somebody just, they, they're doing that like fucking same on that shit. Right now. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. I, I just, I don't even, I don't, I and, mean, and maybe it'll be cool. Like, do you pay 60 bucks or 70 bucks once and then the game never oh, no. ends? They're definitely going to go with the World of Warcraft model, guaranteed, where you have to pay a subscription and they'll be like, hey, we'll add lands. Oh, get the, get the fuck out of here. That's I. Nah. That's 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 my guess. I just I don't know. I just don't. I don't think that I can. I don't. Who? I mean, that's who the a... fuck? We were. Just, I was just talking about who the fuck cares about Assassin's Creed? <laughs> I'm gonna play for this monthly. No, you're not. Fucking Assassin's Creed. Get out of here, Ubisoft. I mean, that's not a terrible idea, at least with Assassin's Creed, because it could just be. How do you figure? How do you do all the flashbacks and the? Oh, I mean, they're not gonna. They're not gonna write it well. That's what I mean. They're though. just gonna. It's just gonna be a playground of Assassin's Creed stuff, and then they'll be like, "Hey, guess what's the playground this week? Wyoming in 1847." And you're like, "There's no buildings," and they go, "We know." <laughs> I don't know, but 
shit, all of it's connected right now anyway, right? Might as well marvel the fuck out of it. Be like, hey, you know that one thing that happened that one time? That doesn't matter. Because now there's this thing, the now time. Mm. And then they'll wait half a year and be like, you know that one thing that one time? <laughs> that doesn't matter! All right, all right. I don't, I don't know what's happening right now, John. <laughs> all I know is this doesn't make any goddamn sense. And just make make... No, I mean I'm kidding. That's what I said. I just just, <laughs> just get in a stupid yeah, way. <laughs> just, yeah, just get a, just make a, the video game that is good, and then the people buy it, and then they play it, and then you could do the DLC. The DLC thing was fine. Like I was fine with that, right? Like oh, I, we made a we made a game. We have this engine, whatever. Let's make an additional section portion of the game. But then the motherfuckers got greedy, and then they started making DLC. They started taking chunks of the normal game and being like, well, this is DLC. It's like, no, motherfucker. That's just the game. Which game? Asura's Wrath. Asura's Wrath. Capcom. Those motherfuckers. I tell you, Capcom, you you pieces of shit. You had to buy the ending? You had to buy the fucking ending. Yep. That That was was some bullshit. Yeah. I remember when that happened. That price on that game is going up, by the way. Seriously? That game is going... Hell yeah. I mean, the the game is cool. It's just... That was obnoxious how they did that. Mm. But um, yeah, Capcom's always pulling some bullshit like that. It sounds like some Square Enix nonsense too. Yeah, I was gonna say because they basically I am with, chaos. Uh, res- <laughs> 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 we're here to kill. Hard. We're here to kill chaos. Have you seen chaos? Is your name chaos? Like, no <laughs> chaos. Do not stop. Keep going. Chaos. Chaos. (laughs) Right there, chaos. (laughs) Oh, Oh, good gravy. Uh, All right, chaos, get out. (laughs) The money's on the table, chaos. (laughs) Don't take my last piece of pizza. I... M- yes, yes, we know. Yes, chaos, shut up. You're chaos. <laughs> He's like, M chaos. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh my gosh, that was the stupidest <laughs> shit. That totally distracted me. I don't even know what the fuck we're Oh, so, DLC. <laughs> yeah. Uh, By the way, we're referencing the new Final Fantasy whatever game. Origin. Final Fantasy Origins or some shit. There's a trailer for it. Just look at Final Fantasy trailer E3. Chaos. Yeah, chaos. Oh, it'll show up. If you type <laughs> just, <in> chaos. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. Because <laughs> that name was stupid as hell, too. It was like a seven letter. I don't, I don't, I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anagram? It was, it was I don't know. so stupid. I can't even think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, China is going to be restricting some games. Yeah. Who, who to thunk it? Who them? No. Couldn't be. No. Then who? See what I did there? China. <laughs> it was China. They it's did it. It's China. So it's China. Yeah, they're going to... They. Tencent they're... is actually going to be putting in a, uh, a software, in effect, that will scan your face, and if you look like a young person, uh, you can't play games between 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. Hmm. It's going to be dope. Yeah, I mean, so... That's cool. I bet you all wish they were on cartridges now, don't you? I wonder why they uh, are doing this. The, the actual reason was to start aiding people in not being so addicted to video games in China. I mean, they fucking live in China. It probably sucks dick. They're like, this is great. This is a fantasy world where life doesn't suck dick. Yep. I'm making <laughs> shoes for my 18-hour so, shift. I'm chi- going to do yeah. something else. And the Chinese government's like, you better not. I'm not going to do a Chinese yeah, accent. Yeah. I was going to. I was going to. Oh, it's not allowed to do that. I'm still I mean, white. Whatever. Can't do it. I mean, I, I don't know. Whatever. Anyhow, <laughs> so the Chinese government, in a Chinese accent presumably, says something along the lines of, hey, citizens, you better look at your... Fucking shitty life. <laughs> stop trying to escape. <laughs> stop having stop having fun and consuming the things that you're creating or whatever. Yeah. Uh, whatever. You that, know what? That's pretty much the whole thing. Yeah. What are you going to do? I have no opinion on it. I mean. I can't do anything about it. 
I don't know anything about it. I don't. I don't know what the fucking. I don't know what to say. I think it's. I think it's weird. Okay, here's here's what I think. Here's my opinion on it. I, I don't know about China specifically, but I think that it's weird that they're facially recognizing how old people are. Yeah. And then telling them what they can and can't do. And I, mean, I don't even mean China. I just mean the fact that somebody's like, yeah, I'll develop that app. I'll go ahead and fucking, yeah. That's going to be hard as hell, too. What if it's, what if you're like uh, Patrick Stewart? That dude just hasn't aged. He had to have looked like he was 16 until like 37. Mm. Patrick Stewart? Yeah. Picard? Yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, shit, him at like 40... Looks the exact same as he does now, and he's like 87. Uh, actually, I mean, interesting fact, he came out looking like that. See? He, that dude just always looked that good. Yeah, he was... What if you always he was looked n- like a young person? He was never a baby. Yeah, he just he came tore out. Tore his mother in half when he came out. Came out, and he's like... Just Earl. blood everywhere. <laughs> Earl Grey tea. Hot. <laughs> Ex- exactly. Make it so. <laughs> exactly. Make it so. <laughs> Make it so. I said. Number two. <laughs> He's just Gandalf. Fucking. <laughs> 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 just fucking ran out of. The <laughs> <laughs> Number two. So yeah. Number two. Fucking tea. That's just hard. That just seems like one of those things where it's like, wait. So depending on what you look like, you just might not be able to play the game. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the Chinese government is doing this, right? Yeah. With two cents, With ten, ten cent. cent. <laughs> two cent, ten cent. <laughs> Same diff. Eight cent. Um. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. What can you do? I don't know. And like when? Okay, whatever. Who knows? Anyhow, That's, you know what? It's There's, just out there. Uh, you you know, know, at some point, this could happen here. I, well, I don't think so, I mean, but I mean... Hillary Clinton gets her way, she fucking hates video games. That's true. Hillary Clinton does not like video games. She fucking hates them. You remember I mean, that shit back in the day? She was all about trying to cancel it out. Yeah, that was some bullshit. And she is a legit contender for president at some point. Nah, I don't think... Maybe I if think she it, tries again, who uh, knows? Uh, I mean, we won't talk about this too much, but let's just... I'm just saying. I know, let's it just... It could happen. Look, look. You don't have to be afraid of Hillary Clinton anymore, okay? She can't hurt you. I mean... No, I'm just kidding. Hillary Clinton actually still has a bunch of fucking... A bunch of pull. And yeah, she's exactly. still doing, like, wacky shit. But... I'm just, I, politicians, am I right? Hey, who are these people? I don't fucking who know. Who are these people? <laughs> who are these people? Hillary Clinton keeps smiling. That's not even her business. <laughs> well, well, she get her shit together. Who are these people? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You remember? She goes home every day to bed. She says, just like my dress. And he says, no. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> All right. That's fantastic. I don't know why my Jerry Seinfeld sounds kind of <laughs> deaf. <laughs> <laughs> he's just a little he's just a little hard of hearing you know he's just like oh he doesn't God. enunciate quite well enough it's just kind of like that's i'm not gonna do a deaf person voice either nope probably shouldn't i um, mean listen my cousin's deaf i'm allowed i'm allowed <laughs> <laughs> always a great always a great defense there you go hey, okay uh, we should move on <laughs> Uh, <laughs> look what I found. <laughs> oh, man, I didn't find anything. I never find anything. Hey, look, I found my Vita. Look, you found your Vita? Oh, you found your Vita, too? I just now found it. Oh, shit. There's my Vita. Oh, mine's over But there. mine's all scratchy. But it's got Tomba installed on it, and I think my shit's dead. Oh, I love Dude, it. when these things die... Dude, they take forever to recharge. 20 minutes or so to fucking to just turn up. to get this thing to turn back on it's ridiculous yeah it's bizarre so if you have or find a vita especially the 1000 model i don't know about the 2000 model as much i don't know either i have the 1000 as well because that sweet sweet oled screen yeah shit's dope it really um, is a good looking screen so you know on the switch it'll it'll just look even better mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so there you go uh but yeah sorry back to what i was saying uh look what i found Oh, yeah, my bad. Looky, looky, looky. <laughs> Look what I can do. Oh. <laughs> I found this book because I'm good at finding fucking books. 
Hey, man, all you got to do is go to a bookstore. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you which ones, because they like me, and I'm not going to. Ooh. And I want them books for myself. I'm going there tomorrow. You don't even know. I saw the tag. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, this one is dope. It's freaking The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past Game Secrets. Hey, unaffordable. Official. I love how many times it says it. It says it like three times. It has to. They don't want. They don't want Nintendo to sue them. Have you ever been sued by Nintendo? Not recently. Yeah, dude. Nintendo. Uh, they sued somebody. <laughs> no, I don't know. They. That was, uh, everybody's always like, "Oh, Nintendo sues everybody. They like sue people. It's it's whatever." I mean, they man. sued that one. That the, the ROM site. The ROM site's like, "Oh man, we can't fucking pay you." Do you see that? Yeah. They can't even pay their, like, $50 a month or whatever. Oh. That's, like, the minimum payment per month to, like, pay Nintendo back. And they're like, we don't have $50, so <laughs> you're going to have to just suck a dick. We're just trying to preserve <laughs> video games. Our bad. They were giving them away for... Fr- I mean, look. How ah. else are you going to play Simon... Uh, What the hell is that super rare one on the NES? Are you talking about Dracula X? No. Simon... And Garfunkel. Not Simon. Pocky and Rocky, too. Uh, no, so ah, super rare game. Speed Racer Entertainment bike. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Jason. Jason. <laughs> Jason. Simon. Jason. Jason. <laughs> Carlito. I don't know. Carlito. What I'm trying to say is fucking extremely rare game. Hagane. That I can't remember the name of. How the hell are you gonna play that? Are you talking about Castlevania? No, it's super rare. Like. Super rare. It came out during the Super Nintendo. I just named the rarest games on the Super Nintendo. No, on the NES. <laughs> on the NES. NES. Oh, are you talking about Solomon's uh, uh, little, 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 little Samson. Samson? That's it, Little Samson. Little Samson, boy. How else are you going to be playing Little Samson? Where, mm. where else is that game? Um... Yeah, I mean, okay. Exactly. I'm not fucking paying for that. Sure. I mean, but they didn't sue for Little Samson. The people who made Little Samson are fucking dead. They're right. in the gutter. So nobody exactly. cares. So why the hell does Nintendo care if they Because Nintendo cares about them fucking doing the Mario's and shit, which do I well, guarantee cool. Take more off the people Mario's. I gar- guarantee more people. Well, I mean, that's what they did. They shut down the whole fucking site cuz they're like, "Hey, we're suing you for Giving away all of our Mario's. <laughs> oh, fuck you, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen, I, I I agree with you that the game should be accessible in some fucking way right. to people. Because it's like, it's you, you gotta be able to. But, you know, people are gonna find a way to fucking get them. The ROMs right. still exist. Right, right. They're still on the internet. You can get them. Know. But, going back to this book, which we really keep just getting away from, uh, it, it's... It's about Link to the Past, obviously, like I said. But the really cool thing is that it also has a guide for the first two games on the NES. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that was loud. That's a <laughs> fucking timer there. You ever wanted a timer? <laughs> fucking ask Google, man. They don't but, fuck uh, around. But yeah, I was pretty stoked about this one because I've never beaten the first two Zeldas because, you know, the first one's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. If you just don't know what you're doing, you don't know what the fuck to do. Nobody Amaze your that. friends with more inside information on bosses, dungeons, fairies, heart containers, items, and locations than they ever dreamed of. Oh, my friends will be wowed. And most important, <laughs> win big <laughs> with the detailed tips contained in this book. <laughs> but seriously, that's <laughs> I know. It's like you fucking read that little part, and it's like, win big with the detailed tips. And it's like... Yeah, the way they write the back is hilariously misleading. Like, read the top, like, couple words. Simply the best. The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, is loaded with hot graphics, totally awesome (laughs) sounds, and endless hours of fun! Fun! This book takes you all the way through the game. (laughs) These are all different fonts, (laughs) but it's just a sentence. They're like... I'm gonna have to definitely take a picture of it and put it on screen so you guys can see what the hell we're talking about. This is... But it's amazing. Yeah, it's really good. There's another part in the beginning that I've read that's hilarious. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, He's like, give me my fucking give me, book back. Give me, like, book. give me that. No, <laughs> uh, let's see. It talks. Ah, dang it. No, that's not it. Nope. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, a Legend of Zelda, a Link to the Past, is a 16-bit continuation of the Zelda's game series. Most players refer to it as Zelda 3, but that's not the game's official title. And Nintendo of America Incorporated states that they may yet release a true Zelda 3 video game for the 8-bit NES. After the 16-bit intensity of Link to the Past, however, it's doubtful that many players would care much about another 8-bit Zelda game. Well, there you have it. I mean... It's just fun to read that kind of shit from back in the day when they're like, there might be a Zelda 3. Just wait. What if... Okay. What if Nintendo did it now? Like, just now? Just Zelda, it. Zelda 3, 20, 25 bucks, 8-bit. Like, 8-bit fucking, People you know, 10-hour game. Right. Zelda length, whatever. I don't know how long Zelda is. Fucking... Fucking two hours if you know what you're doing. 18,000 if you don't. There you go. So, I mean, yeah. That's it. That's what they do. They make a new 8-bit Zelda game. Nobody buys it. Nintendo goes out of business. <laughs> Uh, Shakiro Miyamoto lights himself on fire, Tibetan monk oh. style, in New York Times, and everybody just watches and fucking cries. That got intense. <laughs> Real fast. <laughs> <laughs> it always does. When it rains, it pours. You... All right. <laughs> Moving on to the next thing that I found, because I don't talk about that anymore. <laughs> Top Gear, Daredevil, on PS2. There it is. I've never played this one. Have you played this? I have not. I've you heard... know I, I miss so much stuff on the PS2 and the Xbox. I've heard good things, though, so I'm definitely excited. The thing that bummed me out, though, that I was really excited about, because I'm a weird person, but it's got the Blockbuster stuff all over it. So I was like, sweet! It's a Blockbuster case, because it's in that stupid GameCube case that they were able to lock real easily. And Blockbuster used these all the times. And they used to put the fucking logo of Blockbuster like right there or right here on the other side and it's just not there. Mm. It made me sad. It's like, oh, I wanted the Blockbuster logo. If you think about the words dare devil, yes. you, they could just be dared devil or dared evil. Dared evil. Dared evil. Oh there my you God. go. If you played it backwards, it says hail Satan. Hail Satan. No! <laughs> 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 Sorry. Just the 70s creeping up on me. My bad. Um, another game that I found, Broken Sword. Broken Sword, man. That... The Sleeping Dragon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is that the there, for- that's there the fourth it. one, right? Dude, I don't fucking know. Broken Sword. I've never, I never. I don't know the, the adventure game thing, man. I never... Okay, so I kind of get it. You owned the first one. I know you did. I did. I did not like that game. I didn't know <laughs> what the fuck was going on. They're just like, you're in France for some reason. There's a clown don't want to talk to you and you got to fucking find this key and you're just like what well because they thought you blew up the place when you clearly did not and they're like yeah prove it and you're like but i'm american and they're like that makes sense and so you just die in a french prison or some shit (laughs) oh this is number three there you go number three i don't know i've never actually played them all the way through i'm trying to get most of them physically before i start playing them so I have one and two on the PlayStation. You're going to wait till you have a backlog of six broken sword games before you yep. play them. That's how I roll. <laughs> <laughs> I just wait until it's an overwhelming amount of anxiety <laughs> sitting on my life for having invested so much money into this. <laughs> and I've just started reading the, uh, the Animorphs for the first time. There you go. I'm going to get that whole fucking story in one go. Judge me now. Mm. <laughs> hey, hey man I know I don't know you know somebody's got to read the Animorphs they've actually, well. they've actually been really good I did not know that I bet but there you go is it what's the best one so far is it when the boy turns into the cheetah or the one where the girl's the that, owl that hasn't happened yet what I don't know <laughs> I'm only in the third book. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. I thought you were like 16, 17 books in. I literally like just started like a week ago. Mm, mm. So there you go. Well, get come on, bro. I'm working on it. Damn. Last thing that I found this week that I've just, for some reason, I've just never played it. GTA 4. You know, that game, very, very interesting how that game came out. And the... The critics lost their fucking minds. Everybody gave it a 10 when that game launched. And I'm going to tell you right now, that game ain't a 10. It's an 11. It never was. I, <laughs> I, I'm not saying it's bad. 
because I I actually did like it and I thought it had a lot of good qualities and stuff. But yeah, I mean, it the, it just the critically reviewed so high it was ridiculous. It fucking actually made me angry because I was like, no, this is this is somebody Rockstar paid for this shit. <laughs> yeah, it's weird when that happens, isn't it? Like that's what happened with Breath of the Wild. Yeah, and that's why a bunch of people started just like bombing it on Metacritic. Because a lot of people were just like, no, this is not a perfect 10. It can't be. Yeah, I agree. That game is nowhere near a perfect 10. I, 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 think, it, I think I'll think i give it a uh, I'll give it a 10 for in, trying hard. I'd give that game a solid 8.5 or 9. Breath of the Wild? Yeah. Um, uh, 7. Yeah. 8. Well, there you go. A little bit more hate on uh, Breath of the Wild for myself. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you want to know what the coolest thing about this whole game is? I still I got to slip for the free month of Xbox Live Gold. Un. Un. Freaking. Tabbed. Used. Un- unused. There you go. Unripped. Oh, Boom, baby. It's so fresh. Sealed. Ugh. Sealed. <laughs> <laughs> Freshly expired. <laughs> right? That shit would not work anymore. They don't even have Xbox Live anymore. Now they just have Xbox. The Install your, your fucking cerebral just, cortex. Yep. Just inject it straight into your body. Mm-hmm. You only got the map. What do you know? That's so helpful. You guys, you don't even... Unless you're watching this right now, you don't even know. It's a big fucking map. I was going to say, I haven't even unfurled it all the way. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Oh! My angel's that. in the centerfold. <laughs> There's a lot of... Oh, that's like the simplified one. There you go. That's the more detailed one. <laughs> Shit, I'm not going to be able to close this. <laughs> no, wait. There you go. Hey, hey. Uh-huh. There it is. Yep, the GTA map. I did it. Just just for you guys. That'll never be opened again. Um, there you have it. There you go. Box opening fun. That's, that's, uh, that's all that I found this week. I mean, that's cool. Yeah, I found some pretty cool stuff. Not going to lie. I'm pretty excited about all of it. I haven't played any of those. Or read that all the way through, anyway. Are you talking about the Zelda guide? Yeah. You're just going to read it like a book? Dude, I don't know why. I love doing that with strategy guides. Hmm. Especially the ones that there was like, like a weird... That was a great game. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of them well, like... Well played. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like the mid-90s. There was... I don't remember which company, but there was one company that actually like do it like a novel for part of it. Okay. Like they novelize how to play through the game. And they're like, I woke up and I was on a shore and I had no clue where I was. And I looked to my left and there was a thing and to my right there was a ship. And ahead of me there was a strange rocket. It was a it was mist. Penis. No. <laughs> well, yeah, like, that one, they, they like novelize it and it like helps you through the game but they don't tell you what to do exactly. Let me see your book one more time. It's this like, one is not... I don't know if this one's like that. I don't think it is. Yeah, you're just going to read this and have a little pipe. But there are a couple of them that are like that. Have your pipe just be like, yes, yes, well played, Ganon. Mm, well gosh. played. That was closer at the end. <laughs> it almost had me. And then I struck <laughs> you down with the Master Sword. <laughs> level <Gee>. two. <laughs> 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 no. I just like reading these things, man. That's how I do No, I'm just, I'm just joshing you. I know. But... My deaf cousin's name is Josh, by the way. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> For reasons. <laughs> I told you I had a deaf cousin. That's true. I'm just adding to the mythos. Oh. Like, I want people to know that I'm not just saying that, like... Oh, you weren't just lying? I mean, you never know. You never fucking know. No. Uh, okay, so last topic, as always. Other John's collection... Mm, what are you going to play this week? Well, we've got to talk about the game I played first. Oh, yeah, that's right. God. You played Stupid Invaders. I did on the Dreamcast. A whole f- two other people have watched it so far, and I totally get it. It's a, it's a fucking game that no one is going to care about. If if you don't care about this game, there's no way you're ever going to care about it. Yeah. it's. Just, I mean, what, it's, so what kind of game is it? It's a point-and-click adventure. Mm. And... A fucking point-and-click. God damn it. That's right. <laughs> 
Uh. I didn't, and I didn't know this until after I played it, but it's actually based off of a cartoon oh. called Space Goose. Okay. And it is those characters, and there's two whole seasons of it. Is it fun? Is it good? Like is it, it, it's kind of, ah, oh, the best way to describe that cartoon is it's pre Ren and Stimpy trying to be Ren and Stimpy. Okay. So like, there are definitely moments where it's hilarious, but then there are other moments where like, that was just gross and weird. It's like, don't tinkle on the toilet seat. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, and you're like, what the fuck is happening? It's like almost edgier than it needs. <laughs> yeah, and it, they're 10 minute episodes. All of them are on YouTube. Like, uh, they've officially put them out. Like, it's the Space Goof channel. Space and, Goof. And they just put them all out. Goof you, Troop. GoofTroop.com. You can watch them all pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. So, like, it was entertaining. I dug it. Uh, it definitely should have been watched before I played Stupid Invaders because <laughs> I didn't like you just start Stupid Invaders and you're like, yeah, you know these things. And you're like, no, you I know about no, this. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I didn't even know it's Stupid Invaders or Space Goofs or. Right. It's not even the same name. Yeah. I don't How even... the fuck are you supposed to know? <laughs> well. So, yeah. Uh, well, good thing you own it. But. <laughs> yeah. It, what was funny is that on the playthrough that I do, I get stuck at a part where I just don't know what to do. Hmm. And then I watch the show. And there's a chair inside of that room that I was stuck in that will change you into whatever you need to be. And they use it all the time in the show. Mm, so that was so the thing. So. That was the thing that they just like, yeah, it's right there. You know what this is. Yeah, you watch the Space Goofer show. Yeah, it's the, it's the chair that changes you into what you need to be. Yeah, easy. I know fucking. Change into a fucking. It changed you into a giant famous rat that the mm -hmm. computer wanted to see. <laughs> There you have it. <laughs> yeah, because I went back and I was like, Typical. Wait, I saw this chair. Typical. <laughs> so there you go. It's, I think it's decent. It's not the best point and click. If you're really into point and clicks and you're just looking for a random one you haven't played, it's one. PNCs. We like to call them PNCs. Yep. yep. Point and clicks. Yeah, PNCs. But otherwise, I'd just say pass. Probably don't play it unless pass you're on this really PNC. into it. Beer. <laughs> So there you wah, go. Wah. Okay. Well, here we go. Let's uh let's give this let's give the wheel give the wheel a spin. The wheel a, here comes this sound. Hold on, yeah, I gotta make sure it's turned oh, up all Jesus, the way. Jesus, this fucking sound. Here we go. Like... Here we go. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna turn me into French Stewart. <laughs> all right. The scene it music and uh I think it's fun to guess the console. What console do you think it's going to be on? Uh, it's going to be PS1. Mm, I'm feeling the N64 today. I'm feeling it. Okay. Deep in my belly. Oh! Oh. Resident Evil, the remake on the Nintendo GameCube. Nice. That's a that's a good one. That is a solid one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Going to the mansion. I love that one. Especially the fucking sharks in that one. They were just so much more terrifying in that one than they were in the original. <laughs> yeah, dude. Sharks are terrifying in general. I'm going to go ahead and just throw that out there. It's you true. like sharks? You fucks with sharks? I don't fuck with you. Damn right you don't. I love sharks. You're dead to me. I know. I mean, sharks are cool. They're fierce. They're scary. They're fucking terrifying. They're def that's Keep them away from me. one of my bucket list things is to swim with sharks at some point. I mean, have fun with that shit. You can do that shit alone. A, what I'd really like to swim with, though, is a blue shark. It's like the whale version of a shark. Oh, I've seen... I, I know what a blue shark and is, yeah. fucking huge. I just want to know what they feel like as they're swimming. I just want to touch one just for a second, and then I don't need to do anything else. Like, nope. No more sharks after that. That's all I want to do. Nope. You don't, you don't want to jump in there with me? No. No. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> That's fair. That's I fair. like birds and shit. <laughs> I like birds. <laughs> <laughs> like mammals. Most mammals are pretty chill. It's like, oh, give me like a wombat. I'll fucking fucks with a wombat, but I don't know, man. You wombat. do underwater monsters. That's when shit gets weird. <laughs> underwater monster. That is a fucking underwater <laughs> monster. <laughs> Call it anything else, and you're lying to yourself. You're lying to our viewers. You're lying to God. <laughs> God. <laughs> it's an underwater apex predator slash beautiful machine. Yeah, whatever. Dude. Yeah, machine of death. Um, yeah. Anyhow. Okay, well, congratulations on Resident Evil. That's a good one. 
And uh, yeah, I mean, does that we got we got any other topics? Nope, that is earthen. We killed it. That was a good one. That was a good one. We talked about some stuff. We really did. Yeah, from beginning to end. I'm very proud of everybody here. I'm proud of uh, little little Mickey there behind the behind the camera. Good job, little Mick. You're the man. I got uh, toaster strudel Becky over here. And to- eating toaster strudels. <laughs> yep. Uh, with Becky's cousin. That's all he ever eats are fucking toaster strudels, man. Stinger. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And a light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, this here is uh, Other John. Yep. Good night. That's me. Good night. Rest in peace. <laughs> Official sign. <laughs> Official sign off. <laughs>